Welcome back to the final week of weekly game pickups for March. So today we're going to go through two Walmart sacks, this full stack here, and a few little things that have just come in the mail. Still have a ton of little things coming in the mail. But these things are good for my PS2 collection, good for NES collection, uh, good for more PS2 collection, a little bit of everything this week. A lot more diversity than normal, but I got some killer deals. So first things first, I actually found this. My son had that. So Pokemon Fire Red version, but it had gotten chewed up by the dog, but it still works. So it's freebie. I'll take it. Uh, these here are all PS2 games that I already had in some capacity. Uh, I was just getting the discs or a book or whatnot uh, from Russia with Love. I needed the disc, I had the case, I still gotta get the book, so it'll go on my shelf over here as incomplete, but I picked that up. Um, pretty good looking game. Uh, everything that I got in was really good quality. Uh, One Piece, Pirates Carnival. Uh, I already had the game and the book, or I'm sorry, I had the, the case and the book, so I got that disc. It looks great, like I say. Uh, I'm very happy to pick that up. I've had that case for a while. Uh, Harry Potter, the Goblet of Fire, you know, so I don't know if, let's see, yeah, it might be a little easier to see now. Uh, again, had the case and the book, got the disc. It's going to help complete a lot of my PS2 stuff. Uh, Devil May Cry. Now, some of these do not have the case that holds a memory card. Uh, I have plenty of those uh, stashed somewhere. I forget now, but I have those and I'll swap those out before I put them on the shelf to go with the other ones here. Uh, Buzz Jr., of course, I had, I think I had the case, but no book or disc, and I found it cheaper to buy a whole other copy of it uh, than to try and buy the disc and the book separate, so uh, still not a bad deal. Uh, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, uh, case is kind of loose, uh, but got the disc, had the book in the case, so... It's a little dirty on the case. I might have to change that out just to get the sticker damage and stuff out of there. Uh, NCA 007, or, 2000, or yeah, 2007, not 007. Uh, again, a lot of this stuff I've had, you know, I pick up, you know, I find it at a garage sale for a quarter or something like that, and I'll go ahead and pick it up. Now, all those that I went through, uh, everything except for that uh, from Russia with Love, I already had. Uh, it was complete, short of a disc. Uh, and then, of course, needing the book as well on the 007 game. So that's all of what I'd already had, I believe. Let's see here. Nope. These two here. NHL 06. I ordered that one as well. I'd already had the case and stuff. And then Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1. Again, I had just the case on it. Uh, I had to order the book and the disc. And I ended up finding it cheaper with another game that I needed. Uh, I forget what it was. So in this stack is some stuff that I've picked up here recently. Um, not anything that I'd already had a portion of. Uh, Mist 3. You know, no book. I bid on this one. And then I had also purchased a, another one. Uh, got them for a really good deal. I have played the first Mist a little bit. Really enjoyed it, so I said, I'm going to try and get all of them. So, I, of course, I've gotten uh, Riven here next to show you. You know, and it's got all five discs. It has the, oh, I'm trying to do this nice and soft like. There's disc one, two, has the book here. Disc three, get that in there so it doesn't mess it up, four and five. So, everything looks really good. Um. Uh, I really am looking forward to playing this. That one came out. Be my luck to snap disc four. And I don't buy PlayStation 1 games very often, but I try and buy them the specific ones like that whenever I do. Um, this is the game that I had gotten with uh, Big Red 1 Splinter Cell. Oddly enough, I didn't have it. So I went ahead and picked that up. It's a disc only, but... It's common enough. I'll find it out there. Uh, the other copy of Mist 3. Complete. And these games are cheap. And they're really good. Uh, and I'd actually gotten... It's up there behind you there. I got the guidebook for Mist 
one and four. So uh, missed four is actually on its way in. I mean, I've picked that up from a person. So looking forward to getting that one as well as on regular Xbox there. Uh, Project Snowblind, disc only. I'd ordered a disc uh, from someone online and they didn't have what I needed. Um, forget what game that was now. Uh, but they said, hey, look, to make it right, pick something else. And that was one I didn't have. And it's essentially the same thing. Max Payne, again, good game. Really like that one. And I didn't have it. I have greatest hits probably. But so uh, last week on the Oklahoma City video, I picked up a box for the wireless infrared uh, remote controller. This is the sensor for it. Uh, I actually have the controller coming in. It should be in today or tomorrow. And then I have another sensor as well uh, that I got for cheap, two or three bucks. Uh, Dragon Warrior. So this is actually the one that was in my boxed Dragon Warrior that I picked up last week in Oklahoma City. And had some writing on the back, as a lot of them do from back then. But it did not have the book in that game. So this, I bought one online that had the book with it. And I paid like $8 for it, something like that. So I got that, put the book and the better copy in my box, and then I have that one as an extra, extra, because I have, I'd already had the game before I gotten rid of it before. So that's tons of little stuff. Let's, we're saving the best for last. This bag over here is the best. So oh, I went to a thrift store here, local to me, and picked up this whole bag of stuff. So, PlayStation 2 controller, PlayStation 2 controller, I have not cleaned these, I've barely even looked at them, uh, short of testing them there in the store, another PlayStation 3 controller, now this one's missing the joy, the rubber joystick cover there, um, but whoop. other than that it looks good, Xbox 360 controller, uh, Wii, uh, AV cords, and then a Skylanders pad. Now, the Skylanders pad, a dollar, says it as is. I'm willing to take the chance for a couple of bucks or so on uh, some things. The Wii AV cord, a dollar as well. You know, anytime I can get that, it's better than having them ordered online or to have to go to the local game store and pay God knows how much for it. So, Xbox 360 controller has a battery pack. Uh, tested it. It does work. So leave those out of there so they don't corrode the thing. And everything looks good except for the joystick covers. And of course, I sell the aftermarket ones of that. $3. I don't know if you saw that on there. Yeah, $3 there. So same thing on all the PlayStation 2 controllers. They were all $3. And like I said, they were a little dirty, dusty, but everything felt good. And the clear blue has a rattle, but. I'm sure it still works. These things are almost bulletproof. I say that. <laughs> My luck, they won't work. But the black ones looked great. The rubber on them was you know, in good shape. Again, that one's really, really dirty. But I have tons of alcohol wipes, uh, toothbrushes that are old that I will clean that stuff up with before I put it in my collection or pass it on another way. Now, in this same place was some PS2 games. They had one Xbox or two Xbox games, but they were sports and I didn't need those. So Star Trek Encounters, I already had the game, but it was complete. Disc looks really good. Case is a little, uh, looks like it might have had some water damage on the artwork there. No big deal. Uh, Cabela's Alaskan Adventures, again, complete. I already had it, but the disc looked too good to pass up. Rebel Raiders, uh, I already had multiple copies of this at one point in time. But these, I don't know if somebody just had these and traded them in or donated them to the thrift shop or what. Uh, but they're, they're all in really good shape, even the ones that I didn't have. Uh, so Superman Returns, uh, no book, but that's okay. I still need it for my collection. So uh, let's see here. NCAA 2K3, college basketball, complete. Really good looking disc. Uh, you can actually see the uh, sticker here up top. I used to do that. But I'm kind of a stickler now. I like to have it all nice and neat and clean. Uh, 2K Sports, NBA 2K10, uh, 
Uh, of course, Kobe Bryant on the front. Man, good ball player. Every one of these games that I got from that thrift shop were a dollar a piece. Now, nothing super high dollar here. I think Rebel Raiders is four or five, but for a dollar a piece, I wasn't going to pass them up even if I needed them or not. Uh, so let's hope that doesn't fall. Now, that is good pickups. Uh, now, the discs that I did purchase, I bought on eBay. You know, I don't mind spending a couple of bucks on uh, discs or books. It helps out people that may need it, and also it helps out me getting the collection. I would rather find it out in the wild, but man, I've been looking, and very few shops sell just the books or just a disc, uh, unless they, of course, didn't have a, a case with it. So, this stuff here, I got it from a friend of mine. Uh, we've done some deals in the past. He's local to me, and man, we, I hit him up. I was like, hey, I've got a little bit of cash. I'm looking to spend some money. Uh, what do you have to, to sell? He said, okay. Uh, I've got this, 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 and tons of stuff. And some of it was duplicates, so I passed on those, but then some of it I needed. When I bought it, he had these two little retro type things, you know, plug and plays, uh, Genesis and another 16-bit Genesis type thing. Uh, he gave these to me. I have not tested them. I don't remember if he had, but I picked them up, man. It... I don't play the little retro bit plug and play things or even plug and play in general, but my kids do sometimes. So at that point, I'll give it to them, let them play it, we're golden. Now this is all cartridge stuff. And there is a little bit of everything in here. So I'll separate this stuff out real quick and show you the, the goodness that I got. Oh, man now all of this here get that out of there. all of this here booked on price charting uh, somewhere around 180 I think is what we were talking about uh, he had it all listed when we were talking and I needed these four yeah make sure you can see those so Milan secret castle Baseball Stars, Little Mermaid, and Gorilla. And I was like, well, what else do you have? You know, and that's when we started talking about the Genesis stuff, 64, and Super Nintendo. I said, okay. I said, uh, definitely want the NES stuff. Of course, Baseball Stars is oh, six uh, or eleven dollars, I think, something like that. So I picked up those four there. Uh, Beavis and Butthead for Super Nintendo. Man, that's, I used to watch the show, <laughs> of course I watch King of the Hill now, so. Then we got World Driver Tra Championship for Nintendo 64. Some of these games aren't expensive, like say, Fighting Force 64, that's a pretty good one from what I understand. I haven't played that one uh, ever that I can think of. Uh, then Monaco Grand Prix. So, the biggest lot is definitely the Genesis stuff. And with that, a lot of it's in some really good titles. Uh, I gave 125, I think, for all of this. So Jurassic Park, I remember playing this just hours on end, uh, whether it be this or Nint uh, Super Nintendo that I played it on. Uh, it was a great game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Vector Man, I actually had a copy of this, but the case was, or the artwork uh, on the sticker here was really bad shape. So I got rid of it. And now I've gotten another better copy. Sonic 3D Blast. Again, I didn't have one of these. I've got, I think, every other Sonic game for the Genesis. So, something good to add. Uh, Samurai Showdown. Again, never had this game. And some of these I haven't. There's so many games that I didn't even know they made. Uh, but looking forward to playing them now. Uh, cool Spot. I had this one way back. I uh, picked that up uh, just for nostalgia purposes. Uh, X-Men, you know, that's a good game. I think it's like seven or eight bucks uh, in good shape. This one has some label damage up here. No big deal. I'm, I'm wanting to play these things. It's not like I want to just uh, let them sit around. Eternal Champions and this one and Altered Beasts. Those are just some really good games. I enjoyed playing them as a kid. 
and I'm looking forward to playing them now. And then, last but not least, Toy Story. So, looking forward to playing some of these, uh, a, a lot of these, uh, soon, hopefully. And then, like I say, Mist 3, and then the other Dragon Warrior. Those will be duplicates. They'll go in my For Trade stuff. Uh, if you haven't, take a look at the giveaway video and it goes into detail as to what we're going to be doing with the giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers. So take a look at that. Like, subscribe, comment. It helps us. I'm trying to grow. So if you like games, tune back in next week. Thanks for watching. See you.